Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint and along with Android P came a brand new gesture based navigation method for Android. That means no more of your age old back home and recent apps buttons. Instead, you just use gestures and swipe on the pill shaped home button. Now using it is pretty simple, but you first have to activate it. Now it's worth noting that Google may change this method between now and when the software is officially available. This is a beta after all. So head to settings, system, gestures, and then find the swipe up on the home button toggle. Now, when you swipe up, you get to the card based recent apps view, which looks a lot like WebOS from the Palm Pre of years ago. Now these sit above the Google search bar in a dock populated with your regularly used applications. Now to get to the app you want, you just swipe through them, but you can also drag the little pill shaped button left and right to quickly go full screen and select a particular app. Now it's worth noting that you can drag this button right from any app or any screen that it appears in. You don't have to go to the recent apps view. This can save you a lot of time if you just want to quickly go backwards and forwards between a couple of apps. Now if you want to get to your app drawer, you can just do a longer swipe from the home button or just swipe again after you've done the initial swipe to get to recent apps. To dismiss apps or wipe them from the recent list, just swipe the app preview card upwards off the screen. Now as part of this new experience and because there's no more recent apps button, there's a new way to activate the split screen mode as well. So if you go to the recent apps view and press and hold the app icon at the top of the card preview and now hit split screen, then all you have to do is choose the other app that you want to have it share the screen with. So there you have it, new home button gestures on Android P. Again, it's worth noting that this could change and probably will look different if you have a smartphone that isn't a Google Pixel. Other manufacturers do have a habit of changing the way they want to do things or adapting them slightly to suit their own needs. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on all the important social media networks. You can follow me there, ask me any questions. Of course, you can use the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more informative tech videos. I'll see you again soon.